It was in this area of Maryvale that the 35 year old man was arrested during a traffic stop. Police say when they searched his vehicle, they found around 10,000 fentanyl pills, and that wasn't all. At the arrest scene off 83rd Avenue and Thomas, police say they also found a pound of meth and several thousand dollars in cash. A search warrant to the man's home turned up more, 30,000 fentanyl pills, 50 pounds of meth, and three AR-15 rifles. On average, if you were to combine all the drugs that were located in this uh, individual's possession, uh, it's easily over $100,000 uh, or more. Uh, in value of these drugs. Phoenix Police Drug Enforcement Bureau Commander Steve Marto says they've seized millions of fentanyl pills every year. It's the number one drug they're fighting right now. This individual has probably uh, had been uh, selling drugs for quite some time, has had better connections, and is more of a, of a mid-level dealer. I would say probably 80% of the patients I see for opioid addiction are using fentanyl right now. Health experts at Valle del Sol say the illicit market supply, like the one busted by police, needs to be stopped at the source in places like Mexico. Unfortunately, we've seen that even if we strengthen border, there are people inside the United States who are manufacturing this as well. Some new steps in the fight against fentanyl. President Joe Biden just announced he will encourage Congress to create a nationwide pill press and tableting machine registry. But in a divided Congress, there's no guarantee that will go anywhere. Phoenix police say people use pill presses to make drugs using fentanyl powder, which they're finding more of. We'd be able to track it. So if you buy a pill press, we would be able to know, well, this person purchased a pill press. What is he using it for? And police say they're doing everything they can to get these drugs off the street. If you suspect anything going on drug related in your neighborhood, you should contact police. Reporting in Maryvale, Josh Cristiano, ABC 15, Arizona.